smoke. Get out of here. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Wah, wah, wah. Good afternoon. This is Deb Amlin for the New York Times, and welcome back to Heroes, Comedy Heroes. Yeah. Yeah. Here's how magicians are. Wow. That's, That's what we're doing. One of those, Elaine. Oh. Stay over. Wow. We are going to be feeding Sam sugar uh, and see how much it actually takes for him to lose his ability to solve. Um, this is science. We're doing this for science, Sam. Good afternoon. This is Deb Allen for the New York Times, and welcome back to Crosswords Live. Uh, it's a beautiful day for a crossword, and we have a really terrific one for you today. But first, I'd like to welcome back my solving buddy, Sam Mazursky. How you doing, Sam? I'm doing just fine. It is indeed. It's it's actually no no faking this time. It is a beautiful day for a crossword. It's nice and sunny. My living room's well lit. Let, let, let's have yeah. some fun, and it's an excellent puzzle too. I think we should all go outside and do this. You remember in school where, you know, the teacher would have the class outside? That's a great idea. I mean, I know they have like the annual, um, the Bryant Park crossword tournament, which, well, takes place outdoors at Bryant Park. I've participated oh, a couple of yeah. times. It's fantastic. Highly recommend more outdoor solving. Absolutely, absolutely, especially on a day like today. And we have a terrific puzzle uh, that was written by the JASA class, which has had a few puzzles with the New York Times. Uh, JASA stands for the, I hope I get this right, <laughs> Jewish Agency Serving the Aged? I think so. Yeah, I, th so <laughs> very, I think it might be association and aging. I'm and so close, but we call it JASA. And the JASA class... Uh, is a um, is a constructing class that is currently led by the New York Times constructors Natan Last and Andy Kravis, and uh, they run this class for semesters. You can sign up on today's wordplay. We have a link to where you can sign up if you'd like to take their constructing class. And now it's being run virtually for a while so no matter where you live even if you're not in new york city you can sign up uh, for that and they have actually had a big bump in in people who sign up even you know outside the country that's really exciting i mean they sure may they sure know how to make some great crosswords i think over the Thank years you. there have been you know many teachers of this class even before natan and andy i mean two expert right. constructors leading it now you're in great hands with these two let me tell you absolutely um, and they're fun they're fun. Yes, they are fun. Andy is actually just point of clarification. Andy is actually a full time editor over at the New Yorker now. So he, is, he does a yes. lot of the behind the scenes stuff and uh, used to work for us at the Times. We, we, we love Andy. Yes, briefly. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to uh, to uh, lower lower his status. Yes, he he left us for the New Yorker. <laughs> they grow up so quickly. They grow up uh, so fast. <laughs> they do. Well, today's uh, today's puzzle reminded me almost of you know the game Twenty One Questions, <laughs> um, but I will uh, I will get them answered. I had a little trouble with this. I will give you. Uh, I will let you know, Sam, that oh, I actually, I, I, as I know you will. Yes, <laughs> I I had to go to Joel for this one. Just uh, and I, I bothered him to explain the theme to me because I finished it like some other solvers on wordplay. <clears throat> I wasn't really sure, <clears throat> excuse me, what the connection was between the theme clues and the theme answers. Uh, we have Kay Heldman here today. Hi, Kay. How are you? We have a lot of other people drop into the uh, comments and say hi to us. Um, so I started solving this. And it went very, very closely. I mean, it went very quickly, but I finished it and I looked at the puzzle and I stared <laughs> at the puzzle and I went over the puzzle and I just went, hmm. And that's when I slacked Joel. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, you know what? We'll, we'll hope to dispel any of this confusion. And I'd say, don't overthink this one. This is meant to be no. playful. No, um, no, no. Where, where did you get started though, Deb? I mean, we always, any day of the week, solvers old and new here, um, you got to get started somewhere, regardless yep. what a uh, difficulty the puzzle is. So where, where would you crack in here, Deb? 
I have to say that my eyes automatically go to the fill in the blanks because for me, at least, those are the easiest. Everybody's mileage will vary, but I tend to respond really well. So uh, we have uh, 37 across, I believe, was Que Pasa. It is Que Pasa. Yeah. Which there you go. You just you just fill in the blank. That's so that's all there is to it. Absolutely. No uh, specialized instructions. You know, sometimes uh, the fill in the blanks will mire you. I mean, what blank? We might need a few crossers. For yeah, you. that that one was hot. Now thirty. Uh, whoopsie. Whoops. Where are we going here? Uh, uh, down in the downs. Oh, 39 down. Thirty-nine um, down. Blank reflection. Upon reflection. Dot, dot, dot. Upon reflection. Right? Even the subtleties like the ellipsis right there tells us that this is the start of a phrase that might lead into, you know, something else that would be superfluous to this clue, but upon exactly. reflection, dot, dot, dot. Now, Kay Heldman says that their first gimme was 16 across. Let's see, prego alternative. Uh, That's going to be ragu, the, uh, one, of, one of our favorite uh, four-letter uh, pantry staples in the New York Times crossword, it, right yes, next to the Oreos. The, the, right, at the official uh, red sauce of the New York Times crossword. Yes. Along with Oreos being the official cookie. Yeah. Um, we have a lot of people who are dropping in to say, hi, Freak Lunchbox says double dose of Crosswords Live. We did uh, a one earlier in the week with uh, editorial director Everdeen Mason. And uh, today we're here for the twistier one. Uh, with, that's what with I'm here Sam. for. They bring me in for the twists. That's right. Well, you're you're well known for that. And you even have a puzzle coming up. When is your I, puzzle? I on? do. It's uh, Friday the 21st. I've got a Ooh. nice twisty puzzle. Well, it's a themeless puzzle. So the twists are in yeah. the clues, but there's a little mini theme to this puzzle. I will leave there it to is. crack. I'm, I'm looking forward to this very much. And I'm actually really excited because you've had a lot of Saturdays recently and mm -hmm. Caitlin Lovinger covers the weekends for me. So um, I haven't gotten to write about your puzzles for a while. And I'm really psyched that this is, you know, falls on my beat. I'm so, I'm so excited too. I know I, I, I know I won't get panned. I, I can't no. possibly get panned for them. How can, uh, how can I pan that face? Come on. I'm trying. I don't know. Hey, yeah. ask the uh, hive mind how, how they managed to pan this uh, for spelling bee. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, wa I just wanted to shout out uh, Dawn Brightsman. It's uh, her first time dropping in on this. Welcome, Dawn. Welcome. Here and uh, solve with us. So let's see. I mean, here here's another one. You know, sometimes those fill in the blanks can really admire you. Blank free. I mean, that oh. could be a bunch of things. Even with that U there, we might need another letter. Though maybe, I mean, this is going to be Tom Blank shoe brand. If you know your Tom McCann shoes, right? this is, th there's no ambiguity here. I mean, we're not trying to trip no. you up on that. That's no. I what remember other answers going to fit. When I was growing up in New York City, they had uh, quite a few storefronts uh -huh. uh, in on the Upper West Side. Um, we have, uh, let's see, Freak Lunchbox says Gupta was a fitting word for one down. Sanjay of CNN. And okay, this is, yeah. you know, you talk about a, this clues, this may as well be a fill in the blank. Yeah. You just know your name sometimes. Sanjay right. of CNN. It's got to be Gupta. There's no trick there. And, and the thing that I find fascinating about the human brain is that you don't even know that you know this. Yeah. Exactly. You know, really, you're, it just, your brain can pull factoids out that you would be stunned that you remember sometimes not not that sanjay gupta isn't memorable but you know even if you have trouble with names like i do mm -hmm. somehow it's just still in there yeah it's like what the heck like if you didn't know he was on you were on cnn like what's that guy's name like oh, it right, starts with a right. g you can start filling it in and that's what the crossers are here for <laughs> I mean, you talked about uh, the Upper West, Deb. Would you happen to oh. know 17 across direction of some subway trains? Uptown girl. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually the original angle. We wanted to talk about it up. Really? The hair. Oh, um, my goodness. Well, you know what? I think this is more of a Thursday clue. More of a Thursday <laughs> clue. You needed a letter or two there, right? We don't want to get it. It's very Manhattan-centric, though. Yeah, you know what? Occasionally, you are going to get that with the old... Uh, the New, York New York Times. Times. Um, it's, it's getting better though, because we do have an international uh, audience now. But yeah, there are a few things that uh, <laughs> harken back to good old Times Square. Uh, old Times Chris Square. Van Hassel agrees on McCann. Bruce Giordano agrees on Gupta, and is also saying that one across is a gland. Is a gland? The time is the time is time is That's the time is gland. Yeah, I think. 
thymus. I hope so, because that's the right answer. So <laughs> you're right. That's how we're pronouncing it. Dawn Brightman uh, Brightsman says Andy from to Toy Story was my start. I, I that's also another one that I think Woody I would have right. Owner in Toy Story 63 across Andy Kravis putting his own name in the puzzle. There you go. That's right. That's the one way to put your stamp on it. We don't have an Italian in this puzzle. What's that? We don't. We don't have, have Natan in this, in this puzzle, though. Maybe, maybe he's hidden elsewhere. He could be. He could be. If you find, you can find, you know, an N, a T, and an A. Exactly, and then just reflect it in the mirror because his name's <laughs> a lovely palindrome. So. Uh, Bruce Giordano says twenty-three across is Colby cheese. Let's see, cheese akin to cheddar. We have that C there, and I like, you know, the ending in a Y. The terminal right. Y is probably helpful for this answer. So yeah, Colby's going to be right. Oh. Now, what's what some of those downs there? Yeah, this is, I mean, blank G, blank B? That's um, weird. You know, the... Well, I, I will tell you again, another fascinating thing about the brain is it loves to fill in information. So my feeling is based on the pattern of letters, that would be ego boosts. It's ego boosts and plural results. In so plural. that's one way to start is that probably going to end in an S there. Right. You can start, you know, if you're super new to solving the times crosswords, we don't indicate anywhere in the clues when something is going to be multiple words rather than a single word. Right. So maybe you see this B there and think, oh, I wonder if that starts another word because what's a word that starts blank G blank B? Right. Um, so there you go. You just draw that space in your mind. And yeah, just like that, the answer just might jump out at you. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, for me, it's the pattern of letters, but yeah, absolutely. Uh, Vikram Baum is with us. How are you doing, Vikram? Welcome back. Uh, yeah, welcome back. Now, uh, the blank free, the uh, 13 oh. down, I think I've got it now. It's talking about patterns of letters. I At first, I was going to say born free, but <laughs> that wouldn't have a hyphen. Um, it would be duty free. Duty free. You know, you're buying your uh, yeah. bottle of wine at the airport or something exactly. like that. Exactly. Bruce Giordano and Nine Bark Outfitters agree with that. So we're good. Let's let's move on. Excellent. Uh, blown away. Oh, sorry. No, I'm just jumping around here. Oh, Tell me when to stop. Ten across, blown away, I think, based on those last two letters, is going to be odd. Because it's, it's not a literal blowing somebody away. It's basically blown away as in amazed. That's exactly. Blown away, amazed, you're odd at um, Deb's ability to solve the crossword <laughs> today. I've been um, doing it for a while. <laughs> I, wanted to jump, I wanted to jump to some of these longer answers. I mean, every oh, Thursday crossword, you guys, is going to have some sort of theme throughout. And... Sometimes it just pops out, you know, yeah. italicized answer, dude, where's my car? 1979. Well, that's mysterious. Yeah. Where's my car was not from 1979. So that's it wasn't. Me. That's, that's what flummoxed me. Yeah. Um, the, also... the other part of it is I wasn't sure as I solved it, I figured out that there was something going on in the answers and wasn't sure what the connection was between the clue and the answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there, 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 this is a theme, I'll tell you right now, which is why we bumped this to a Thursday. Yeah. But there are multiple layers to it. Oh, so, yeah. I mean, let's just check out a few of these. Dude, where's my car? Hmm. What's well, eating Gilbert Grape? Right. What's that? I, you know, the, my first instinct at, uh, was it 18 across was to say spam a lot, but that's one letter too many, <laughs> one letter too man, many there. Your uh, mind draws to Monty Python there naturally. It, so. Always, always. And, um, but what's interesting is that that year, that bracketed year has nothing to do with the movie and the clue. They are it movies. It does not. We'll, we'll, we'll find out exactly what this means. And again, you see a clue like this, it's just a film title. That doesn't actually give us any direction to what the answer in the puzzle is, or does it? We will find out and we'll show you, you know, along the way how to really stretch your brain, your brain, excuse me. It's more flexible than you think it is. It and really how is. to parse, you know, a Thursday trickery theme that you shouldn't take at face value. So let's keep rolling. We're big fans of the plasticity of the brain here. Um, Natanya and Vikram Baum are saying that 10 down would be arson. Arson firebugs activity. Yeah, that was kind sure, of if you say so. <laughs> concerning clue. <laughs> um, now we have that MS blank OT at the end of uh, that long thing. That's interesting. Dude, where's my car? Where's my What's car? It? Can we... Can we get the uh, 11 down? Let's do 11 down. 
Room yeah. for Art. Oh, now it's not going to be gallery, not that kind of room. So, so we have that W that we pre yes, pretty right. good about. So pretty good about. That W looks to me like it's going to be wall something. Wall sounds good. Wall space. Yeah. So it, wall space, which we is at a premium in New York City apartments. But, <laughs> I, um, I'll say. Right. I think that uh, I I think that by room for art, we didn't mean a physical room. We meant space for art. Space for art, indeed. Right. So we've got we've got our our wall space for all our ego boosts, um, yeah. trophies and such. And a lot of people are agreeing on wall space. And Valeria Silvestri said room as in space. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Nice one. Exactly. Vikram Baum is dropping some some classical music knowledge on us uh, and says that 35 across is <laughs> E flat. Is E flat. A gimme for some right. indeed. You know, I like answers like these, but I know that's an unpopular opinion to those, especially non-musicy people are like, ugh. I'm going to have to wait for the crossers on these. I don't know. Well, um, you know, it's, it's funny That's you say okay. that because I I wrote on wordplay yesterday that you don't really need a lot of knowledge to solve a clue like that. Some no. of it is basic musical knowledge about how the keys in music work. And some of it is deductive reasoning. For example, mm -hmm. we know that when we talk about a musical key, it's going to be something between the letters A and G because those are the keys, right? So that's going to be the first square, but we don't know what it is. So we're going to leave it alone for now. That leaves us four, four squares. It's too short to have it be major or minor or sharp. The only thing left is flat. Retyping it. Just, just, what? just the parrot. I said, <laughs> just okay, the parrot. Just sure right. Now the E I got from the crosser. Twenty-two down. Fundamentally. Fundamentally. That for me was at heart. At heart. And that nice gave me one. the E. Off just the E. So there you go. Fundamentally is at heart. That's how you check these things. You know, that's why we like the all over interlock in a crosser. I mean, it's certainly elegant to look at, but for you as the solver, it's going to help you check every last square to yeah. make sure you have the correct answer, right? If right. the across flummoxes you, you've always got the down. So exactly. My point though was that if uh, you know you run into what seems like an uber intellectual clue, like you know, the key of Beethoven's Eroica. I don't have that committed to memory and I'm not actually an experienced musician. I, I'm a fan, but I'm not a musician. So I was left with deductive reasoning <laughs> for that. Did, you, mean to, you mean to tell me that these puzzles we make aren't just for the uber intellectuals? Well, I'll, I'll, exhibit tell a, very exhibit honestly, I'll tell you very honestly, Sam, if I can figure them out, Everybody can figure it out. I was going to say, if I'm doing this job, absolutely not. That's right, right. <laughs> so, you know, I, I think that it's it's proof that if you use and, you know, flex your brain a little bit, you can solve the New York Times crossword puzzle. You do not have to be an astrophysicist or a classical musician or an engineer to do this. You You, you can figure this out. And it really, from there, it's just practice. It's just practice. The yeah. more puzzles you do, the better you are going to get at these, even if that doesn't make any sense, because your brain is just going to soak up some of these tricks, these twists, the wordplay that, believe it or not, you have seen in a past puzzle from months ago. Somehow you'll be able to retain the tricks about like sharp and flat. The more you solve, the more you're just naturally going to be able to be exposed to in the crossword, and then you'll know it for next time. Right. It's really as simple as that. And um, Laura Brown says, hi, hello from London. Hi, Laura. Hello, and Dawn Brightson needs to sign off, but was says it was fun and we'll join again. Thank you, Dawn. Please come back soon. We're here every Thursday. Yep. Uh, and, you know, hopefully soon we'll be here more than just once a week. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Nine Bark Outfitter says 37 down is pedigrees. That's a nice chunk. Ooh, with just the nice work. Plural documents, mm -hmm. pedigrees, that's the one. Plur plural in the clue, plural in the answer. Exactly. That gives exactly. us some great real estate. It really does. Uh, how about the crosser right there? Much abbreviated Latin phrase. Well, you know, I was going to say et, 
at all or whatever, <laughs> but it's actually in this case, based on the number of letters and the ones we have, it's gotta be id est. Id est. And I know that mm -hmm. and I'm again, and I'm gonna keep hammering this home to everyone who is watching. I don't know that because I am an expert on Latin. I don't know that because I went to law school. She's an expert on citations. She's getting to that point. Exactly. Right. I, I know this because I have been solving crossword puzzles every day for the last 10 years. So that's where the that's where the practice comes in, is it really helps you identify things and commit them to memory because they're going to come up again. It's not going to take you 10 years either, for the no. record. Fear like not. It will come years. a lot sooner. So, <laughs> uh, Well, we have Chris Van Hasselt says uh, 42 across is Preen. Is Preen obsessed in front of the mirror? I thought that was fun. I love that Preen. word. Yes. And uh, he also agrees that it is just correct. Natanya says 26 down is Cats. Is Cats musical featuring the Jellicle Ball? Right. Cats. I have, I have to say, I still haven't seen cats, and I did not know what a jellical. I thought the jellical ball could be, you know, a toy for a jellical cat. But it was a <laughs> physical ball, you know, maybe with a bell in it or something. Uh -huh. I don't know. It's actually the the big dancey number. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> no. what I, do. Well, um, I heard you're supposed to start by seeing um the 2019 rendition of Cats uh, um, from Tom Hooper. I heard it was, you know, widespread I? critical acclaim. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I heard that, too. Snazziness. That's got to be Elan, which is a great uh, crossword. Crossword word. word. Exactly. Yep. If this is the first time you've heard this word, fear not. Now you know it for next time. It's some exactly. fun, sophisticated word. Uh, let's see. Vikram Bomb says 57 across is Rama. Today's clues are all very within my realm of knowledge. Oh, awesome. So yeah, Hindu happy. avatar is Rama indeed. Good for you guys. That's awesome. Well Bruce done. Giordano says 30 across is pole, P-O-L. Hill figure like Capitol Hill for short mm -hmm. is a pole, a politician, yeah. politico. What do we have at the, that down there? Have legs, so to speak. That's got to be last. If something has legs, it's it's going on and on and on. By the way, that is Natan's watermark in the puzzle. This is oh, Andy Kravis and Natan Last are your right. co-constructors you with both the uh, in jazz here. puzzle. How fun. Very nice. Very nice. And Bruce Giordano agrees on Last. Now, we have quite uh, a lot. We have some of that middle thing. Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Well, that's another movie. All of these are films, right? Who do? Where's my car? What's eating Gilbert? Yeah. Who Framed Roger Rabbit? We've got... How the West was one. Ooh, two years. Interesting. Yeah. We've and got then, Oh Brother, where art thou? We've got, yeah, but we, those numbers, those years are really puzzling me, Sam. They really, really are. And not just in the sense it. that we're solving a crossword puzzle. They are absolutely baffling. Yes. How the West was one did not come out in 2010. I can tell you that. No, right. and, and or 1969. Or 1969 for that matter. Right. I just wasn't around then. So I, I didn't know with 100% certainty. <laughs> Um, I, well, I'm here to vouch for it. <laughs> um, Bruce Giordano's is 52 down is image. Is image. Let's see in that M. Look for these patterns, you guys. Yep. Blank, M, blank, blank, blank. Not the most common letter. It's it's not mm -hmm. an E. It's not an I. PR concern, probably going to be a vowel up front. That's your <laughs> image. Indeed. Exactly. Exactly. It could be an S, but it's most likely going to be a vowel uh settings for some courts huh. for or, some courts now how about this settings with an s, s. drop that uh, you can drop that s in there because drop that s in there plural in the clue plural in the answer and then so then you know the singular is blank blank e blank a huh. there actually aren't too many words that fit that pattern just so like that we've made this that much easier what's that what would you put in there, Sam? I would put in arenas. I mean, I happened to edit this puzzle, so it probably came easy enough for me, right. um, having seen the solution grid multiple times, um, and come up with this clue myself. <laughs> yeah. It's now, going to be your arenas, your basketball courts. Uh, Vikram Baum and Cheryl Greenwalder are praising 21 down as a clue. That was a great clue. Which one's this? 21 down's in a cross. 29 down. 29 Sorry. down. Oh, let's see. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Get a load of um, this. Get a load of this. That's yeah. so this sounds like a phrase in quotes, except check this out. There are no quotes no around quotes. here. 
So we're looking for the, what is this? Yeah. This is the answer. What do you get a load of? You get a, I don't know about you, but I get a load of laundry. I, I accumulate a large <laughs> load of laundry. And then at the 11th hour, realize I have no clothing left. So it's right. time to do laundry. Yes. There's a so. point where nothing passes the sniff test anymore. <laughs> so. <laughs> no comment. Right. <laughs> Um, let's see. Wow. We've got quite a bit of those, of two of the long answers. Let's see if we can fill in some more. Anybody if wants to drop in and, and, uh, put in some of the answers or suggest some answers for us, throw it in the comments. We're here. Throw it in those comments. Okay. But scram is oh. flea. Right. It's right. not, it's not a, it's not a verbalization like scram, get out of here. It's I'm a verb. I'd probably be looked at funny, like, go on, flee. Yes. Out of here. <laughs> I don't think it works that way. But um, now, Natanya says 64 across his ice age. This was this 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 was a nice clue. This was not my clue. Um, what was cool for a long time? This has That's nothing to do one. with fads. It was quite cool, if you Very will. Very nice. Now, yeah. Valeria Silvestri has a nice long one, the central 38 across. She says it's the usual suspects. The usual suspects, my all-time favorite movie. Is that right? It is. I love, you know, the nice uh, neo noir suspenseful uh, -huh. uh I don't know. That I'm 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 sounding overly pretentious here. Um but oh, I but love this know, movie. Know. I've seen it Let's... so many times. And so what's the well the usual suspects I can tell you came out in 1995. Huh. And the clue, well, but that's weird. The clue is who framed Roger Rabbit. So that's a different movie. Right. Any there's there's got to be a connection here somewhere. There has to be a connection somewhere. Well, Let's you know keep... what? Let's keep moving. Laura Brown says 15 across is Sony. Is Sony PlayStation's creator? Indeed, that helps us break into that region. I was just going to say, it's always nice when you're ever halfway through solving the puzzle and you're like, oh, I didn't even come across this gimme yet. That's right. I mean, Thank God, you know, thank God for it. there's a gimme here. Thank goodness there's a gimme here, indeed. Our, we, we love our award-winning streak for uh, showing up in so many puzzles and award ceremonies for that. Absolutely. Uh, Cheryl Greenwald is leaving us, but oh. uh, says this is fun. I start at the beginning and make my way through, so it's so interesting seeing how other people solve. Thanks. Thanks for joining us. You're very us. welcome. Thanks for dropping by, Cheryl. Uh, Laura Brown says two down is leader. However, leader. whether it's spelled in the European way or not. <laughs> That's going to be in, I mean, unless we say otherwise, we are going to opt for this, as this is an American style crossword, we are going mm -hmm. to opt for the Americanized spelling of these words, unless we say in British or something, um, right. or give another uh, a, a hint there somewhere. Yeah, um, there should be an indication. Them. What's that? This There should be an indication. Exactly. So this is a fun fact for you. One of about five of blood in the average adult body. You have five liters of blood in your body. Wow. So a long way to well, go for the singular. Once, but that's a lot. Today you learned. Yeah. I didn't today know I that. learned. Blood. Now um, the um, Vikram bomb is starting to catch on here and says 50 across based on the theme is going to be true grit. It's true grit. Now that came out in 2010 and, and 1969 and 1969 for that matter. Um, so I'm getting the feeling that the movies in the answers are related to the bracketed years, but yes, clues like how the West was won are questions. They're actual, exactly. So look. questions and the answers, I mean, the entries, the theme entries are the answers to those questions. It's a really, really <laughs> tight theme, Deb. It like, really is. How, how, how easy is it to come up with a, uh, an acclaimed film that's a question and have it answered mm -hmm. near perfectly by another acclaimed film? Who Absolutely. framed Roger Rabbit? Well, the, the usual, usual suspects, suspect. of course. All right. How, now, how was the West one, Deb? It was one through true grit. It was Sam. one through true grit, wasn't it? There you now, go. Nat Natanya's catching on. She says 24 across is, has got to be Parasite. <laughs> Our most uh, graphic of these. Uh, what is eating <laughs> Gilbert Grape? That's going to be uh, <laughs> Parasite. Um, <laughs> excuse me while I suppress my gag reflex. <laughs> but... <laughs> 
<laughs> that, that was kind of yucky. But um, let's see. Chris Van Hassel says 14 across is quinoa. That is a great entry. The gold of the Incas. Who knew? Ooh. I love talking away things like this um, in oh, Muffle, yeah. please. Is now, that that's a, so a bon mot would then be a quip. A bon mot is your quip. Bon and what is on the agenda today besides well, Crossroads? we have Lottery, a few course. items here, Sam. But just one in the grid, right? Just one. I just one. Uh, Vikram Bond, that's very nice, is uh, congratulating Natanya on, on getting that clue. I love it when people... We love our support there. from commenter to yeah, commenter. Yeah, yeah. The clue community is awesome. Uh, now, Bruce Giordano says nine down is rye. Is rye. Manhattan component is in the drink, which, believe it or not, is lowercase in Merriam-Webster, which is why it's accepted in spelling me. Exactly. Um, <laughs> well, because rye is a type of drink. Yes. And um, nine bark outfitters says 47 down. If you want to jump down there is Olay. Is Olay. I'm glad we put in that U there because I was thinking Eclair, which <laughs> I don't know, maybe. <laughs> uh, Shannon Solitz says 20 across is, uh, item is so American. Is that right? I didn't know that having an item on the agenda was an American phrase. Shannon, where, where are you? Are you in Europe? Uh, I'd love to know, uh, you know, talking this away, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, if that's unrecognizable to people outside of the U.S. Uh, let's see, <laughs> Nora Sharp is with us. This is New York Times on the Twitch again. Hi, Nora. I Always you... having fun on the old yeah, Twitch streams. Yeah, we're, we're 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 getting through this. I hope you'll help. Uh, Laura Brown says three down is anomalous. That was anomalous, a cool word. indeed. Just had to finish that up. Yep. Uh, what else do we have? Do we know the pal of Porthos and Aramis? These are the three musketeers. Now, yeah, I had to think about this one. I think it was Athos. Athos, indeed. Yeah. Boom. And you, uh, Gimme for you, great. If you needed a few letters, that's also great. That's what the crossers are for, right? right? I knew it was OS. I just couldn't remember what the rest of the letters were. It's ethos. Uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Shannon said, I mean the spelling of leader. Yes, absolutely. Oh, yes. We, we, we've talked about that a little bit before that, you know, because it's a New York Times crossword puzzle, even though we recognize that there are international solvers, uh, the spelling, the spelling here at least will be an American spelling unless there is an indication that it would be something else. Mm -hmm. How about, let's see, I'm just trying to see if we can finish it. Well, do we have any idea? Dude, where's my car? Well, we I don't know yet. It's uh, something slot or, <laughs> or something is a lot. Lot, yes. It would be in some sort of a lot. It is in some sort of a lot, as a matter of fact. But which um cinematic lot is it in? And we're not talking about the well, back lot. I what was uh what was made in nineteen seventy-nine? That was that'll help you zero in on it. It will. Let's uh, let our uh, our our commenter uh, guesses uh trickle on we, in. In the meantime, we've got one. We've got one. Chris Van Hasselt says Salem's lot is the answer to that indeed. question. Nice and, work. What I love about this is that everybody is helping each other solve in the comments. Uh, Vikram Baum says uh, 46 across is Dali. Dali. Is Dali. Salvador Dali. And that was a bit of a tricky clue, which uh, Chris Van Hasselt agrees on. Uh, yeah, that's tough to see the name in that clue. You want it to be cluing something more general, but that's how we Thursdayify it for you. I'm, I'm going to coin but that. But I'll tell you, honestly, if you have the D or the I, like in this case, I had pedigrees already going down, so I had the I at the end. And with something named swans reflecting elephants, you know it's got to be kind of loopy. And the only per artist I know of with four letters ending in I is Salvador Dali. So I don't know about that. I personally, I, I like hopping down to my um nighttime bodega to get, um you know, a quick bite from the swans reflecting elephants. <laughs> there <down>. you go. <laughs> the, the pub. And that, yeah. And that would have worked with Eclair too. It, um, it would have. Um, so Nancy Burke Osborne says 58 across his home alone. Which is another <laughs> great oh, brother. Where art thou? I'm oh, home brother. Alone. Where art thou? I'm home alone. Love Ooh, that. Don't come through. I want to be mm -hmm. home alone with 
my friends and not actually tell you. I'm speaking to my brother there. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, a lot of people are agreeing with us on Salem's Lot. Chris Van Hassel said, I thought it was Dada at first as a <laughs> genre and the title seemed Dada. Well, you know, that's a good guess too. It's a it, perfectly but, cromulent guess. It's a very cromulent one, very Sam. Very cromulent. And uh, I don't know if we have our our uh, person who keeps count with us today. But, <laughs> Shout uh, out Kathy Yeah. That's one, Kathy O. Um, let's see. Laura Brown says 27 across his laugh. His laugh are wood strips. You know right? what? That's That can be a technical term. So we don't want to get tricksy with that. Dang it. Gives us sass. Dang it, Sam. Dang it. Fiddlesticks, yeah. Deb. When's the last time you said fiddlesticks? Uh, uh, not, probably not never. But, <laughs> well, <laughs> I would say it for fun, though. Yeah, it's, it's a fun word. Fiddlesticks. Excessively well with that really. That's got to be gaudy. That's gaudy, indeed, right. and that's this has to be only word yeah. before child or human only child or hey, I'm only human, right? Spur. What do we have here? Let's see. Goad is goad, and this has to be yeah. issue children in legal. Legal. And people had a lot of problems with that one. I guess you know yeah. I don't know why. I've, I've you know if you've made out your will, you get very uh, used to the word issue yeah. <laughs> in terms of who you're leaving everything to. And I I love the man's name that can follow V or R to form an English word. It's got to be Igor. Or you I like words like this? I can never tell. I love coming I up with do. stuff. I like do. You know, it's it's almost like having a trivia question in the middle of your crossword puzzle. So I <laughs> I like that. With it, with it, we, I like to use these sparingly. They're fun to come up with, and I yeah. guess for me, more fun than coming up with like, you know another famous Igor when we've done uh, Stravinsky a hundred times. Right. You know exactly. Um, and you know, for me, I always think about Marty Feldman and. Uh, in uh, Young Frankenstein. It's sure, awesome. sure, sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> that, that are the Young Frankenstein reference. Uh, um, we have uh, six across. Natanya says, it's also a clever clue, but I only got it from the crossers. Yeah. That's okay. That's it's what the okay. crossers are That's for. Whatever gets you there. I mean, you know, it's your puzzle. And uh, there are things that I have to use every single crosser to get. So what else? What, I mean, should we finish? What's this? One of a noted quintet is here crossing Elvis's record label and charged. And then oh, we've got Top Dog, Chocolate Blank. Oh, see, like I Earth. know that one. Okay. This I know game, this because, you know, right? chocolate. Hello. Um, now, I, <laughs> Dogs, but I've been hello. doing this. I've been right. I've been doing this long enough to know that Chocolate Blank Mm -hmm. is probably not going to refer to the kind of chocolate you can eat. It's going to be a chocolate lab, especially because of the three letters. And, and crossing that. that is going to be the top dog, which I think is a great crossing, And but the answer is going to be boss. It is boss, the boss. Crossing yeah. mono, ends or codas. Right. Low pocket pair and Texas Hold'em are trays. trays. Yeah, the threes. Indeed. A nickname for the threes. Now, this is interesting because whenever you see the word quintet, you ought to prob or probably think of a musical group. Yes. But this quintet is not quite it. The answer is taste, and the quintet are the five senses. Exactly. You that almost sort of back solve that one. It's like, huh, what was the quintet? Oh, I got it. So that gives us Ranat, RCA. So what have we, I mean, checking out these long ones as we wrap up this puzzle, we're Love so this. close, everybody. We've got what, six, 12, 17, 21, 24 squares left. We can do this. More yeah, than a couple. Let's bring it home. Now, Nine Bark Outfitters has that one. He says, or they say, uh, more than a couple is a threesome. Is a threesome, Which indeed. Is more than a couple. You know, more than a couple. Yes. We're not going to go anywhere near that. No, we nowhere, no further. 34 Psy Ops say, now this is great. I, I loved this entry. Head games. Our head games. Indeed. And Vic and Bob agrees. It definitely starts with head. They're fun, uh, fun answers. You got it. You got it just as, as I did. Um, but threesome next to head games, wall space next to ego boosts. I mean, my goodness, this is just such a crunchy puzzle. It's a I very it. crunchy puzzle. You can yep. uh, write your own stories with these. And you can. So we'll leave it to our solver's discretion and not to come up with any stories on this stream myself. That's right. Um, <laughs> Laura Brown says 62 across is amen. You said it, sister. Amen, amen. sister. Um, supermodel holiday. 
that was a tough one. I'm not that big on my supermodels anymore, but um, I know that cool 90s style is going to be fat as in (laughs) P-H-A-T. Another, um, you know, a word that gets a lot of kerfuffle for appearing exactly. in spelling. Exactly. It's like, does anyone actually say that anymore? Uh, <laughs> I think people know it. That's why it's there. Yeah. I don't know. Miles and varies. With the P and the S, the 150 in the Bible has to be a psalm. Is a psalm, exactly. It's right. not the PSATs. Um, <laughs> Laura yes. Brown is, uh, we, is either waving or raising her hand. I'm not quite sure what. Uh, oh, maybe I'll, that's back the at you, back at a, a, Amen. <laughs> yeah, amen. Right? A, um, a couple of people, Todd Booth and Vikram Baum, are saying that 48 across is going to be egg on. Egg on spur. to spur. We've got goad is already spur here. Nice twin mm-hmm. blue, but no misdirect. They just mean the same thing. To egg nope. on to goad. Right. What do we have here? Memorization crossing. Film uh-huh. that lost to Green Book for best picture. That's an interesting one to have in the middle of a uh, theme about movies. <laughs> it was intentional. It's got to be uh, an R for Roma and rote. Roma. Rote memorization. So now we've got beavering away, crossing CD holders, maybe. Got to think about this. Which this sense are we going great. for? Great. And thank you, Laura. Yeah. That's very kind of you. Uh, Bruce Giordano has it and says that 41 across is IR. IRA is not your CD yeah. cases. We're no. talking about financial. Most stuff. people would think of racks. This is, these are uh, investment accounts that hold certificates of deposits. It's, so it's, a it's different not kind bras, of CD. right? It's it's IRAs. That's You're right. With blank one right. more square, Sam. Two more. We got this one here too. Oh, Valleys. Sorry. I mean, that's going to be Glens. We'll throw that in. That's Tess. Tess Holiday, Tess Holiday. and yeah, and uh, beavering away is an interesting way. <laughs> Uh, to put the word at it and crossing the TED app, TED radio out hour. And look at that. We That's a it. Thursday crossword. Let's go. give me one up here, Sam. Let's go. It's All right. Very, very, very nice. Um, you guys, you guys are awesome. I mean, you really help us get through this and uh, this was not an easy one, at least not for me. No, not at all. And I mean, so just to recap here, because I know Deb, you you brought up your own, uh, you know, your your quizzical expressions you had when you finished solving this puzzle. Really, it's not that these five answers are all united as a set so much as each one of these is a clue. That is the t- it's it's the title of the film is the sole clue. But you should actually read it as a question that is somehow you know with a little bit of um artistic license here, whatever the cruciverbal <laughs> license, um, is answered by another famous film. Dude, right. where's my car? Salem's Lot, so dude. Right. So the so the uh, clue is the question, and the entry is the answer to that question. Mm-hmm. And, and the year is for the answer. Exactly. That helps you at least narrow it down. Yes. A little bit. <laughs> exactly. Because it could be anything. Yes. What's eating Gilbert Grape? <laughs> Parasite. Not going to forget that one for a while. Not going to forget time. that one for a while. Who framed Roger Rabbit? The usual suspects did. Right. How the West was won. I guess that's like, so, so the, not quite a question. That's more of an explanation. How the West was won? Yeah. Grit. And, oh, brother, where yeah. art thou? The old lie. Oh, I'm oh, just home well. alone. I'm not going off doing um, things I shouldn't be doing. All right. I think this was a terrific idea that uh, the JASA class came up with. And kudos to Natan Last and Andy Kravis for leading them through it. The 63 across and 31 down. You guys rock. Two exactly. of stars of the puzzle world, if they're watching. We love you. <laughs> People are um, in the comments are saying that it was a very smooth puzzle and fun clues, big non-theme words, and a lot of fun. Uh, Valeria Silvestri, one of our regulars, says that she got it from the start. So yeah, nice, that's very awesome. nice help. Mileage that's- always varies on these things, right? Oh yeah. Absolutely. Um, you know, if you would like more help on today's puzzle, you can go to the wordplay uh, c- uh, column. We posted a link at the beginning for that, I believe. Uh, Isaac <laughs> wouldn't mind posting today a link to today's column. Uh, we have um, we have a uh, column for every puzzle that gets pu- published, where we take you through the theme and the clues, and we try to break this down for people who are just starting to move through the week. Um, you know, 
please join us. Please, there's a huge community out there just waiting to meet you guys. Um, and uh, you can, whoopsie, you can have a lot of uh, fun with, with this and uh, meet a lot of new friends. Yeah. Isn't that right, lots, Sam? Lots of friends in the puzzle world. They're very oh. welcoming to this young uh, high schooler here. And here we are on the other oh, side. Oh, that's right. So that's very, right. Very, very nice. You were uh, what? Puzzle people 17, are 17 when you had your first New York Times puzzle published? 17. Man. Got on my 44th this coming Friday, something like that. Wow. Um, that's really amazing. Time that's flies. Right. And uh, absolutely. Well, this was a terrific time. I'm so glad we could get together today and solve the puzzle. I hope it was a nice break in your day. Um, Laura Brown asks an interesting question. Is it possible to subscribe to the column so it's emailed to you? I don't believe so, Laura. It would but be a nice feature you know, to have. We can, it would uh, be. And you know what? I'm going to bring that up. There, you know, we, we have a lot of really good things planned in the near future. So stay tuned because stay tuned. that could be something that. Uh, that we take you up on. Yeah. Um, anyway, this is uh, Deb Amlin for the New York Times wishing you a happy uh, Thursday. And Sam, I hope you have a great one too. You as well, Deb. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Have a good rest of your day and a good week.